Well, September is National Sickle Cell Awareness Month. It's a month and time to use to raise awareness about this disease. And Jonathan Hunter joins me now. And Jonathan, you spoke with one family in Baltimore who's really using this fight to help other people. Yeah, that's true, Rando. I spoke to Nakia Vaughn. She is the executive director for the Maryland Sickle Cell Disease Association. She provides support to families impacted by the disease. But for her, this issue hits close to home. So she knows firsthand the importance of raising awareness. Seventh grader Simone Vaughn is getting ready for school. Every day she has to take hydroxyurea, which is medicine to help her manage sickle cell disease. When I was younger, I had to take the liquid, so the liquid was nasty. So they switched me off to pills when I got to like the age of 11. But Simone is not alone. Her dad, Shimon, has sickle cell disease as well. He says growing up, it was tough. I wasn't allowed to do um, things that my other friends was doing only because my mother was very overprotective. Now, as an adult, he has to get an exchange transfusion every four to six weeks. The exchange transfusion is typically like a, um, a oil change that you get on your car. So basically take blood out and give you new blood, red blood cells. Nakia is the caregiver for both her husband and daughter. It can be challenging, especially knowing that when you transition for Simone, you know, she's going to get older. The pain might be a little different. Nakia is also an advocate in her role as the executive director for the Maryland Sickle Cell Disease Association. She works to provide both education and support to families impacted by sickle cell. Being uh, well versed in understanding the sickle cell disease uh, really helps me to understand that the outcomes will be greater as we get more therapies and have more funding and and for people to really understand what sickle cell is. Shimon has a message for anyone who is diagnosed with sickle cell disease. You can get through it, that you can continue to live with this, with a healthy lifestyle, um, as long as you continue to take care of yourself. And Nikia stressed that donating blood is crucial. She says it's important to have the same types of blood in the blood bank, the blood bank excuse me, to combat the shortages. Wow, and then just listening to their story, man, she's impacted with not just one member of her family, but two, and now she's kind of using that to fight for other people. That's so cool. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she actually knows firsthand what it's like having family members live with the disease and now uses that as the executive director for the organization in Maryland. Yeah, and the chances are, I mean, if you've been uh, affected by this, you either have been affected or you know someone else as a black person who has sickle cell, so this is important information. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we'll be back with more GMM in just a little bit. In the meantime,